Hello everyone. Today's film is going to be a brand and product focus film where I try out, trial out and review several products from an in particular brand. And today I'm going to be examining several products from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, particularly their most recent launch of liquid highlighters called Liquid Frost and several lipsticks and a few powder highlighters. Very exciting stuff, I say. For those of you who may not be aware, Jeffree Star Cosmetics is the work of Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is a makeup artist, a singer, a songwriter, a designer, a makeup producer, as well as a YouTuber. Very accomplished individual and I shall definitely be leaving the applicable links to all of his own website, YouTube and the rest of his social media within the description of this film. Now Jeffree Star Cosmetics is at least four years old. It launched in 2014 but today I'm going to be reviewing their most recent product which is the Liquid Frost Highlighters. I have three of the eight shades that launched just a week ago so I'm very excited to try these out for their formula as well as their shade range. Now liquid highlighters are one of those things that can be either a hit or a miss. With highlighters and liquid highlighters and body oils, I would say that there is of course similarity, they're all designed to be highlighters. Now I don't typically use liquid highlighters on myself personally, however within my work I definitely use a lot of liquid highlighters, I think they are incredibly useful things. They can be used to sheer down foundation, to add glow to foundation, of course to highlight and on the body they look incredible. Personally I don't tend to work with liquid highlighter on my own face, unless of course I'm wearing a very natural look and it doesn't have a lot of powder so it can blend into my skin better and I do tend to find that when you attempt to apply either a cream highlighter or a liquid highlighter on top of foundation that you have set with powder it can actually disturb the formation of the product for which that you are applying on top of so the foundation can become patchy and sometimes the liquid product can actually take off the makeup that is on your face. So today I am not going to be applying any liquid highlighter to my face but I am going to be laughing my body in it today because it's absolutely perfect for that. Now I have purchased three of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost Liquid Highlighters. In the shade Frostbite, Frozen Peach and Ice Queen. Each of them has a foil backing with the applicable colour to match the colour of the liquid highlighter. All the packaging is uniform. Of course between them they are differentiated with the sticker that covers the top cap, which of course has the individual shade names on them, as well as the coloured foil, which of course is meant to represent the shade within. And the packaging is all this slightly baby pink colour with rather faint holographic swirls all over it. So it's very interactive and it's very Barbie. I also purchased one of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frosts, which is similar to the Liquid Frost in the sense that it is a highlighter. However, this one is a pressed powder formula. And I purchased the shade Princess Cut. Princess Cut is such a beautiful colour, however it's been quite difficult to get because it has been out of stock with Jeffree Star's British retailer. And Princess Cut is a shade that I would describe as being a giant version of MAC Cosmetics Pink Freeze. It's a very similar shade, not as blue. Pink Freeze has some blue in it but Princess Cut doesn't really have as much blue in it. However, I think there may have been a slight unfortunate production discrepancy as this shade appears a little bit more like the skin frost in the shade Peach Goddess, which of course is far darker and a little bit more rosy than Princess Cut. I shall definitely be getting Princess Cut at a later date, but I think I'll give this a test as well. The Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost comes in very hot pink packaging and of course are very large. They come in these very large pans. And if I was to compare a MAC Cosmetics Compact, you can see that it actually fits inside the pan of this. This is MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Powder Foundation and it fits right inside the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost pan. And the last products for which that I purchased from Jeffree Star Cosmetics are the liquid lipsticks. These are the Velour liquid lipsticks in the shade Birthday Suit and Gemini. They also come in hot pink packaging and there's a similar sticker that covers the cap with the applicable shade on the sticker as well as the applicable name for the shade inside. And this is what they look like. The furthest from me is Birthday Suit and the closest to me is the colour Gemini, which I have been wanting to try for a great time, as I do happen to be a Gemini. Now back to the liquid frosts, which I am very excited about. And the little sticker on the top actually goes over and around the side and has some of the ingredients and the barcode on it, you kind of have to either open it from the bottom or rip the top open. I of course have made an incision so I can open it gracefully without any ripping. I've always considered ripping very rude. And once you open it up there's a cardboard casket and I believe you have to just pull it out of that with a little lip that you pull 
so it rises, comes out like that, and then you just take it out of the box. There's also a cardboard casket at the bottom so that the product sits upright, which I think is very courteous considering that the bottle it comes in is a very strong plastic. I think it would be imitation glass. I actually thought it was glass when I first got it, but it's actually a very strong plastic. Now, for those of you who may not be aware, some people like to be glowing for the gods. I am quite different in that respect. I like to glow greater than the gods. So we shall see today whether or not these liquid frosts shall assist me in my crusade to glow greater than the gods. So I shall be applying all three of the shades for which that I purchased. This is the shade Frostbite. This is the shade Frozen Peach. And this is the shade Ice Queen. Now all of the shades that I bought are absolutely beautiful. Just from seeing the swatches online, I thought, goodness, these will be gorgeous. I have to get them. But there are five other shades that launched. And I actually think within these eight shades, there is actually a diverse range of colours for the very fairest of skin as well as the very deep skin tones. I definitely think when it comes to making skin rich, whether your skin is as fair as my own or as dark as somebody like Alec Weck, I think that the key to making any skin tone looking out of this world is just to ensure it looks rich. You have to add richness to it. And that is where highlighter is marvellous and particularly liquid highlighter because it just blends seamlessly into the skin, much more so than powder highlighters. Powder highlighters are marvellous and they have their place and I certainly use them within my work, but liquid highlighters are marvellous. Now I'm really hoping that the Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid frosts shall not be oily or sticky. I'm hoping that they will dry down to a slightly matte texture. It is very hard to find liquid highlighters or highlighters that you apply on as a liquid onto the body that dry matte. I tend to find with most liquid highlighters when I apply them to the body, my whole epidermis becomes more oily than Saudi Arabia. So it can be really difficult to wear with black. I of course wear many different shades of black, but black is a colour that if you get makeup on it, 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 you can see it quite visibly. The same thing applies to white, but today we shall see how transfer proof the Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid frosts are. Now today I'm not going to be applying the liquid frosts to my own face. I'm going to be applying it to the epidermis across my decolletage, my shoulders, my collar area, as well as my neck and my arms. Now the first shade that I'm going to go in with is Frostbite, which is this absolutely beautiful, very sparkly, pale pearlescent shade with the slightest hint of gold in it. And the way that you open these is you just twist the cap and you pump that to extract some of the product into its nib and you twist it open and it comes out like that. I'm just going to put a little dot of this across the skin. Now, I don't know how much I shall need. I always think it's best to apply too much and then go in and reduce what you've applied rather than applying too little. So that's what I'm going to apply first of all. And I'm going to use my hands to rub this in first of all. It's definitely not a sticky formula. I can sense that immediately. It definitely has a creaminess to it but it certainly isn't sticky. And it actually shears down quite well. I didn't think it would shear down, but it shears down quite well. Now it isn't scented, but it smells slightly similar to lacquer, which of course you all know I love, I love lacquer. It actually shears down quite well, even though I am seeing quite a lot of glitter in this. And it makes my skin just look really, really healthy, like it's glowing. It certainly picks up in the light. Now I'm going to be going in and applying to my left shoulder Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost in the shade Frozen Peach. Now I don't know how I would describe this colour just yet. I would describe it almost as being a slightly duochrome, pinkish, purplish, peachy champagne colour. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's try it out. Oh my goodness. That has a lot of purple sheen in it. It has quite a bit of peach in it as well. I can actually see the trace of the peach on my skin. It's darkening my skin just ever so slightly, warming it up slightly. I don't think it's something that would be a killer, but I can definitely see the peach in it. I think if your skin is as fair as mine, you might be able to notice the peach. Once it's blended in, you don't really notice it. I absolutely love a shiny shoulder. Just when you turn on the light and the shoulder's all shiny, I absolutely love that look. So I'm just adding a little bit more sheen there. Now, I absolutely love these, they're so chic. I was expecting them to be quite intense and a little bit difficult to blend, but they actually sheer down fantastically. I would definitely consider them a very strong sheen. As you can see, that's added the most beautiful pinky pearlescence to my shoulder bone. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that along the collarbone as well. This looks absolutely beautiful across the collarbones. I definitely say these aren't sticky in any capacity. They definitely have a 
slight tackiness to them. It's just slight, but it's only between the fingers that I feel it. Not necessarily on the skin, and once it dries, it doesn't really have any presence at all. Now, I can see that they can definitely be built up. Now, that's given the skin the most fantastic sheen. It's quite sheer, but I definitely think it can be built up. I definitely think that this product will be fantastic for you if you are somebody that is a professional makeup artist, whatever industry you're working in, particularly in fashion, because this will give you a fantastic sheen, and I know it will photograph fantastically. And when I look quite closely in the mirror, it definitely has very, very fine specks of glitter in it. This frozen peach color actually reminds me a little bit of Fenty Beauty's confetti. Now, I do tend to find that the Fenty Beauty confetti is quite gritty and quite grainy, certainly when I apply it to my decolletage area, but this is very light feeling. I don't really feel like I have anything on right now. It's given the skin the most beautiful sheen and it just blended in seamlessly. I definitely think it'll be a fantastic base as well for going over with in areas that you want to emphasize with powder highlighter. Frozen Peach is more of an exotic color as it has a lot more purple and pink pearlescence through it, but I do tend to find that that is one color in particular that can make the very fairest of skin tones like my own just come alive and look so ethereal. And if I just move my seating device to one side, you will be able to see that when I turn in the light, of course I am in my studio which is bleaching everything with bright white light, but you can definitely see the radiance in my skin. I am definitely glowing greater than the gods. Now I'm going to go in with Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Frost in the shade Ice Queen. Now this shade looks far darker than all of the others, but I think it's going to be very pinky and sparkly. I'm very excited to try this. Did I hold the two together and compare it to the Frozen Peach? The Ice Queen just looks like a darker version of the Frozen Peach, slightly more pink. Now, as you can see, that is substantially darker than my skin tone, so I'm going to rub it in quite vigorously to ensure seamlessness. Now, I can definitely see that this is darker than my skin, but the pearlescence in it is absolutely gorgeous. I would certainly describe Ice Queen as being a darker version of Frozen Peach. So if you're somebody with deeper skin and think that Frozen Peach is an absolutely gorgeous color, but might be a little bit too light for you, I would definitely go for Ice Queen. Just applying a second coat of that just to amplify the sheen. Now, I absolutely just adore that color that's appearing, that beautiful, Pearlescence. Now, Ice Queen is definitely a little bit darker than my own natural skin tone, and it's given it a slight reddish tint, but I absolutely love the color. I love all three of the colors. In fact, I think I'm going to go in and add a little bit of the Frozen Peach on my central decolletage area, just to build up the sheen and take it onto the neck slightly. Certainly within my own work, I am used to getting quite hands-on and applying oils and foundations all over the bodies on my, either that be models or clients or whatever. If skin is going to be photographed, it must look fantastic. Now I'm going to put my clothes back on, otherwise we'll never get back into the nunnery. And you can definitely see from before that it's given the skin the most beautiful glow. It's just made my skin look very healthy. Now so far I am very impressed with the liquid frosts. I think my favorite shade would have to be frozen peach. I loved frostbite as well as well as ice queen. I think ice queen is a beautiful color. I wouldn't really say that there's any transfer. I wouldn't really say that the product itself has transferred, but it has definitely picked up a lot of the fine glitter, which is kind of unavoidable. I don't really think that any makeup is transfer proof unless it has been airbrushed on. Once the body starts to perspire, makeup of any kind will eventually move around. But I shall definitely say that the liquid frosts are a fantastic product. They make the skin just look really, really healthy. And I think they would actually be a fantastic base for going in with powder highlighters, which I think I will be doing in just a moment, but I shall definitely say that they are a non-sticky liquid highlighter and they take only just a moment to dry. Now, as you will be able to see, I've already gone in and applied foundation, powder, contour, blusher, eyebrows, eyeshadow, eyelashes. I have not applied any lip product or highlighter be that powder highlighter or liquid highlighter. Today, I'm going to be applying the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick, the Velour Lipstick in the shade Gemini. I've been wanting to try this shade for a long time. I think it is an absolutely beautiful color, and I did try on a little bit of it before the review. I don't usually like to do that, but it is a fantastic color, and I'm going to apply this. Liquid lipsticks are fantastic and very long-wearing. They're fantastic for lining the lips as well, because once you apply them, they dry in and set, so you will get a crisp line with them, but they are a little fiddly to line with because, of course, they are a liquid that goes matte. You are working with a liquid, first of all. So to line the lips, first of all, I'm going to be going in with some of MAC Cosmetics lip liner in the shade 
boldly bare. What I'm going to do with that first of all is just correct any of the asymmetry within the lips. With the lips now lined and filled in, I'm now going to go in and apply some of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipstick in the shade Gemini. And this has a swivel top that you just unscrew and open with a doe foot applicator. I'm just applying that onto the lips. Now, I wouldn't really say that they are scented, but they definitely have a smell. They smell very like the MAC Cosmetics Foundation Studio Sculpt. It smells very similar to that. Now, this Gemini colour is quite similar to my own natural lips. However, it is a slightly deeper, more plummy, slightly more orange version of the colour. It's actually very similar to MAC Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Boldly Bare, which I had applied just a moment ago. So the Gemini colour is very, very similar to that. Now I feel like adding a little something to the lips further. So I'm going to go in with some of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics the Lure Liquid Lipstick in the shade Birthday Suit. And instead I'm going to apply this on a Zova 227 brush. Just dabbing it on, just to lighten that Gemini colour just ever so slightly. And I'm dabbing it on rather than brushing it on, as this technique shall ensure seamlessness. Now for highlighter, and today I'm going to be going in with powder highlighter. Of course, I'm going to be going in with some of the Jeffree Star Skin Frost highlighters, but I shall be going in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Platinum Ice Skin Frost Pro Palette. Now, I purchased this quite some time ago, and I absolutely adore the shades within this palette. And if I open it up for you, this is what it looks like. I've actually spoken about this product before. I'm going to be highlighting today with a combination of ice cold and pink chill. I'm just applying the ice cold first of all with an Inglot 4SS brush. A little bit of the centre of the nose, a tiny bit on the chin, a little bit on the cubit bow, tiny bit of it through the forehead and just going in and applying some of our pink chill colour with a NARS number no. 6 brush. And I think I'll add a little bit of it to my shoulder bones. And because we have already gone in and applied our liquid frost, by going over it with our skin frost, it just amplifies the sheen further. I always like to apply a lot of highlighter in this sunken area because when you turn in the light it just, it just looks so incredible. Might add a little bit of canary bling which is a slightly warmer skin frost colour. I've always been a believer that one should apply highlighter absolutely everywhere. And the best way to ensure seamlessness when highlighting is just to continue to buff the product on in small layers but then build up quite quickly. I tend to find that the more you buff, the brighter it becomes. So I've just taken a trip to the lavatory where the lighting is very different to that of what is in my studio. And my skin was glistening, it looked so sparkly and glittery. These liquid frosts definitely make the skin look very healthy and enriched. I absolutely adore the liquid frosts. Would I try out any of the other colours? Absolutely. Would I purchase these again once I have depleted them? Absolutely. I think these will become a staple within my industrial kit as well as within my own personal kit. Regarding the skin frosts, even though I didn't use this exact product right here, I used the same formulation just in the Jeffree Star Platinum Ice Palette, which is this right here, which you saw me using just a moment ago. I absolutely love the formula. I've described it as being quite a fatty formula, and it is definitely one that is quite immediate, so it's very, very shimmery and very, very strong. So I definitely think it's something that you have to be a little bit more careful with and build up in slight layers. But these are definitely a product that I would recommend. All I would say is build up slowly in layers if you are not used to highlighters that give an immediate effect. I would definitely describe the Jeffree Star Cosmetic Skin Frost as being quite a concentrated product. I also think a highlighter this size within a professional kit is fantastic because I would certainly say in many cases when I have had many models and I have to get them all super shiny and super glossy within an hour, something like this is fantastic because you can take a fat brush and just swirl it around the pan and gloss over whatever you want to go over quite quickly. So it definitely cuts down time having a pan this size. And of course, the product is quite immediate, so you don't have to apply too much of it to get quite a strong effect. So I would definitely have to say that I very much like the Skin Frost for that purpose. One shall not dismiss the decadence of a glossy shoulder. And finally, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Velour Liquid Lipsticks. I absolutely love these. The formula is quite light. I would compare the formula to feel 
slightly lighter than the Smashbox liquid lipsticks, which I think are absolutely fantastic, but I definitely find them to have a presence on the lips. This doesn't really have as much of a presence. The formula is withstanding. It's quite a light formula. I don't really feel it to have that much of a presence on the lip. It is definitely dry. Mine has a tiny tackiness to it. That certainly isn't a criticism. It's just a slight observation. And I do tend to prefer liquid to matte lipsticks to feel slightly tacky, not totally matte. I find that when they are totally matte, they do tend to make the lips feel a little bit like a combusted scrotum. I would describe the Velour liquid lipsticks as being a very no-nonsense product. They do exactly what they claim to do. I hope that you have found the tips, the techniques, the demonstration, and the recommendations for which that I have made within today's film will have given you some kind of clearance when considering the brand or any of the products for which that I used and mentioned here today. Many of these products were new for me. Of course, the liquid frosts and the Velour liquid lipsticks. I have, of course, played with the highlighters before. I would like to take the liberty to congratulate Jeffree Star and all at Jeffree Star Cosmetics on their recent launch of the liquid frost liquid highlighter. And I wish them all the best of luck with their product development, their growth as a brand and their future successes. It is very exciting to spectate. What I'm about to say I don't tend to say it often as I'm always fearful that it may dim the mood of some of my viewers but despite living in today's world where men who are feminine in whatever capacity have been celebrated here and there or been able to thrive here and there it hasn't always been like that and certainly up until a couple of years ago it wasn't like that and I certainly know that Mr. Star would contest in favour of what I just said. So to be able to see a man who is feminine in the kind of world that we live in triumph and accomplish and thrive and actualize themselves, it is definitely a wonderful thing to witness. To finalize, I have had a lot of fun creating this film for you here today, and I hope that you have found today's film to be either interesting, useful, helpful or beneficial. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and of course, take care. Bye.